Manja, manja, bon appetit, let's eat. It's time for Tank's Cooks. Manja, manja, bon appetit, let's eat. It's time for Tank's Cooks. It's time, it's time, it's time once again for Tank's Cooks. Ready whenever you are. Yeah. It's a wonderful day for pie. A wonderful day, a delightful day. A wonderful day for pie, yes. I am making a pie and I was sent a recipe by Christopher Fiore for his Uncle B's apple pie. And well, we're gonna start off with uh, three pounds of apples. How do you like these apples? These are apple crisp apples. It's the one that's recommended so we have to peel and core these apples. Peeling the apple, peeling the apple, peeling the apple, yes do. Let's peel the fucking apple. Peel the fucking apple, peel the fucking apple, let's go. All right, peel these apples. We're gonna peel these apples and uh, like that. All right, well, we got these apples all made now. And now it's time to core the apple. Coring the apple. So we'll stick the apple core in there and we'll core the apple. Ooh, pop it up, there we go. Here's a nicely cored apple. Or let's core the apples. Does it core an apple? It sure does. Of course, this one is not doesn't want to be cored. Here we go. Ugh, God, the thing doesn't want to be cored. So let's core all these apples. You know, maybe I should do it over the bowl. Some of the apple juice. That's a good idea. Slip in here. Does it core an apple? Yes, it does. Look at this tiny apple. I almost cored my hand there. All right, we're almost all cored. And there's our last core. Now we're gonna chop up the apples. And uh, well, you know what you're gonna use to chop up the apples? Yes. Slap chop! Slap chop! Slap chop! Ah, uh, Bill Gates, where are you now? Passed Bill away. Bill? What? He passed away. Well, who is there? Billy, Billy Mays and that other guy. The, 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 the Billy Sham Mays. Wow guy? Yeah, the, the Sham Wow guy. You know he got arrested? Yeah, yeah he's like, told, like a whack job. You know, it's fun getting these, like, uh, uh, and made it for TV products. I mean, the Slap Chop. Slap Chop. It's like a guy uses this. It's a Slap Chop. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get you some blue. I think the slap chop just got slapped. I'm struggling to get this thing over the finish line. Look at this, it's actually stuck to it. Golly, look at that. This thing hasn't worked this thing hasn't worked that hard in years. Am I, yeah, is this the last slap chop in America? I gotta find a way to get this thing back on here. All right, and this thing doesn't want to come off. Here it is. All right, we got the apples core and now cut up. And we're ready for the next step. It's uh, sugar. No, what size is that? A one quarter cup. Oh. So we need three quarter cups. All right, 
Then we need two tablespoons of flour. So that's one tablespoon of flour and two tablespoons of flour. Okay, it says pinch of salt. All right, we're gonna need some uh, cinnamon, 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 cinnamon. It says a half teaspoon of cinnamon. That's about a half a teaspoon. And now we do a tablespoon of lemon juice. All right, so. And there's a tablespoon of lemon juice. All right, now we gotta mix this up. We have our trusty mixer here. All right, let's mix this baby up. Apple pie, mixing up the apples and the apple pie. Don't get in your eye when you mix the apple pie. Well, I think that's well mixed. Now what we're gonna use is a graham cracker crust. Now with a graham cracker crust, it looks very right nice. So we're gonna put in the apple pie into the graham cracker pot crust. All right. Now we're gonna make our uh, crumb topping. So we're gonna break up some of these shortbread crackers. Next, we're gonna need a cup of flour. So let's get the one cup of flour. Just to make sure it's a cup. So that's one cup of flour. Then we're gonna need a third cup of brown sugar. We got the brown sugar here. Teaspoon of uh, cinnamon, 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 cinnamon. Now we're going to take some uh, butter, a stick of butter, and we're going to add that to this mixture. And we create our crumb stuff, crumb topping. Butter, butter. Butter, butter, putting in the butter for the apple crumb stuffing. All right. Now we're going to throw this in. And, well, we're going to bring out our old mixer again. Duck. I think this is what we're looking for. Let's get these crumbs on here. 
Now we have to put this on top of the apple pie. The crumb stop, crumb, crumb, crumbling, crumbling worse than the Mets. All right, we split it out onto the pie. And now we have to let this sit. We'll put it in the fridge until we're ready to cook. It says sit uh, for uh, an hour. We are putting this in the oven for 45 minutes at 375. It's a wonderful day for pie. I think our pie is done. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, that's how you know it's done. See this golden brown crust? Look at that. Now, you can't eat this right away though. Put it in the fridge overnight and it'll be just right. Yes, I have the Chef Tony's. Chef Tony. <laughs> All right. It's a wonderful day for pie. A wonderful day for pie. Well, we made the pie last night. Now it's time to actually plate the pie. Time to plate the meal. Now, it's been in the fridge, nice and cool, nice and chilled. We'll cut this pie. Cut the pie. It's amazing how great these Chef Tony knives have been. And people laugh at me for uh, my uh, purchases, but I got a whole set of knives. By people, you mean, you mean me? <laughs> All right, let's see how you, now it's always tricky to get the first pie out of the pie, out of the pie dish. Uh, let's see. There we go. Of course, so as it didn't come up, because it's always tricky to get the, the first slice of pie out, without a doubt. And there we go. You know, the most true pie chart is this one. Pie that has been eaten, pie that will be eaten. But let's see how this pie came out. Thank you to Christopher Fiore uh, for this recipe idea. His Uncle B's apple pie. No? Yeah. It's quite good. Quite good. Thank you, Christopher Fiore. If anyone else has any recipe ideas, Send them to njtake99 at gmail.com. And of course, don't forget to manja manja bon appetit. Let's eat.